Dr. Golden, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Appreciate having you. We're talking about your heart and omega-3, and we always start things like this with the definition. What are omega-3 fatty acids? Well, it's really just a fancy name for what most people probably know as polyunsaturated fats. It happens to be a very long polyunsaturated fat that has that funny name of omega-3. Uh, it is important, however, because it's not produced in the body. We have to get it in our diet. Well, and we've, we're, we're all told that, that fat causes heart disease, so why do we want this fat? Well, like most things, or like a lot of things, there are good fats and there are bad fats. Perhaps a better analogy is most people know that high cholesterol isn't good for the heart, but cholesterol is essential for the body. You just have to have the right amount and the right type. The same is true with fats. You have to have the right type of fat and the right amount of fat. What's the connection between omega-3 fatty acids and heart health? Well, it was known for a long time that uh, uh, American Eskimos, for example, had a very low incidence of certain types of heart trouble. And one of the reasons was their diet was very high in fish, which turned out to be very high in omega-3 fatty acids. And so a connection was made that perhaps this was healthy for the heart. It also turns out that these fatty acids will lower the blood fats, may lower blood pressure, and improve cardiac mortality from all causes. Well, you may have answered the next question. Are there other health benefits to omega-3 fatty acids? I think the main one that from a heart point of view is that they definitely will lower triglycerides, which are blood fats. They will improve uh, uh, heart uh, mortality and morbidity, or I guess another way to say it is they're very useful for primary and secondary prevention of heart disease. They have been shown and they are recommended for primary and secondary prevention. What foods contain omega-3 fatty acids? How do, we, how do we ingest them? Well, again, this if you're talking strictly about omega-3 fatty acid, most people are thinking about fish oil. The real recommendation of the American Heart Association is two servings of a cold water fatty fish a week with a serving being about three ounces. So six ounces of cold water fish a week is the amount of omega-3 fatty acids that you need to supplement your diet with. But you can also take in other forms of polyunsaturated fat that are also converted into fish oil, such as green leafy vegetables, nuts, and flaxseed oil. I'm sure a lot of people have heard about flaxseed oil and its health benefits. These work through the omega-3 fatty acids. Are we, just generally speaking, are we getting enough omega-3 fatty acids in our diets? We do get it in our diet. It is recommended, however, that you supplement your diet. And that supplement, as I said, is recommendation of two servings of cold water fish per week or that you take fish oil capsules to supplement the diet. But you do get it in your diet. Give us an example of a cold water fish. Uh, salmon, okay. herring, All right. mackerel. Are fish oil supplements that contain omega-3 effective in, in, improving, in improving heart health? Absolutely. Uh, two of the omega-3 fatty acids uh, are related to what you take in in your diet and the foods that you take in are converted to two definite forms of fatty acids. The fish oil supplements contain these fatty acids and you have to get used to reading the label to make certain that it has the right type of omega-3 fatty acid in it. The manufacturers know this so they all put a label on there you just have to read the label to see that you're getting enough. Well, so should I, just, just a person of, of average health, should I be taking fish oil supplements? When we're talking about primary prevention, that means that you do not have any heart disease. It is recommended for primary and secondary prevention. It, I think I'm uh, safe in saying that it is actually the only diet supplement currently recommended by the American Heart Association for primary and secondary prevention. Uh, so you can take uh, fish oil, comes in capsule form, you could eat 
cold water fish twice a week, but if you're taking fish oil capsules, you're probably talking about anywhere from one to four capsules a day, 500 milligrams to two grams a day of fish oil. Are all fish oil supplements created equal? Apparently not. Okay. Uh, uh, from looking on the internet, there have been, um, uh, for example, consumer reports uh, uh, or similar type of uh, reporting where they've gone and looked at all of the brands of fish oil supplements that are available. And like a lot of things, some of them are excellent, they have the right proportion of fatty acids, and some of them do not. Uh, if you take a fish, you want to use the fish meat in your fish oil. You don't need the, the head, the skeleton, the tail. So apparently some of the manufacturers don't necessarily follow those guidelines. So if you're going to get a supplement, you can either learn to read the label or go on the internet or, and look it up and, and see what's recommended. But I would say that they're not all created equal. You touched on this, but let's go over it again. How much should we, how much should we take? One to two grams of fish oil supplement per week or two servings of cold water fish a week, which would be six ounces of fish. There's, a lot of people do not have that much fish in their diet, and that's why they can take the fish oil supplement. But if you're eating two servings of fish a week, that is enough. Now, if you're going to treat high levels of blood triglycerides, you may need a higher dose, but that's no longer primary prevention. That's being prescribed by a physician. Very well. So you open the door to this question. How much is too much, and are there dangers in having too much omega-3 fatty acids in your system? Absolutely. Uh, too much, I think most people would say more than four grams of fish oil supplement a day is too much. We're talking about taking one to two grams. Once you get over four grams, then you get into other issues such as bleeding, for example, and some of those type of problems. Uh, and so you want to stick with the guidelines, which are one to two grams, or eat fish. Let's see if this bonus question works. If you're compliant with this regimen, how significantly do you reduce your risk of heart disease? Well, you can lower the blood fats, the triglycerides, by up to 33% with the fish oil supplements. That's a primary risk factor for heart disease. So as you lower the triglycerides, you lower the uh, risk of heart attack. If, there, if you lower the blood pressure with this, that's another risk factor, then you lower the risk for heart attack. Uh, so it can be significant depending on which risk factor you're talking about. Maybe you can lower triglycerides up to 30%, as I said. Very well. Doctor, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.